chapter 35 resistance of body to infection in this unit we are going to discuss immunity and allergy as we know there are two types of immunity it is acquired immunity which we get from uh, vaccines and stuff and the innate, innate immunity innate immunity is the immunity which organisms are born with following are the aspects of innate immunity uh, which uh, you should keep in mind when studying this Number one is phagocytosis of bacteria and other invaders by white blood cells and cells of tissue macrophage system. Destruc destruction of swallowed organism by acid secretion of stomach and digestive enzyme. Resistance of skin to invasion by organisms. Presence in the blood of certain chemical in cells that attach to foreign organism or toxin that destroy them. These are all the parts of innate immunity in the body. Some of the examples of innate immunity are lysozymes. This is a mucolytic polysaccharide that attacks bacteria. Basic polypeptide, which can react with inactive, uh, uh, react with and inactivate certain type of gram-positive bacteria to complement complex, which is compromised of 20 different proteins and natural killer lymphocytes that can recognize and destroy foreign cells. Then we have adaptive immunity. In addition to generalized innate immunity, the human body has ability to develop extremely powerful specific immunity against the individual invading agents, such as lethal bacteria, viruses, toxins. This is the abil this ability is the acquired ability or acquired adaptive immunity. Special immune system that forms antibody or activate uh, activated lymphocytes that attack and destroy the specific invading organisms or the toxin this is the this is your adaptive or acquired immunity basic type of acquired immunity are hemorrhal uh, immunity or the cell mediated immune immunity body developed circulating antibodies which are globulin molecule in the blood plasma capable of attacking the invading agent this is your humoral immunity in humoral immunity your body will develop antibodies and this is based on the b cell immunity b lymphocytes will produce the antibodies in your body t lymphocyte um, uh, that are specifically crafted in the lymph nodes to destroy the foreign agents this type of immunity is called the cell mediated immunity and the main type of cell that are involved in this type of immunity is the t cell immunity uh, t cell or t lymphocyte so humoral immunity b uh, uh, b cell or b lymphocyte immunity and cell mediated immunity is based on the t cell lymphocytes or t lymphocytes or t cell immunity both types of acquired immunity are in initiated by antigens the there are proteins a large polysaccharides and it is that uh, it is they that in initiate the acquired immunity these substances are called the antigens whether it is humoral immunity innate immunity or acquired immunity it is always initiated by the antigen antigen is your antibody generation in your system the process of antigenetically usually depend on the regularly recurring molecular group called epitopes on the surface of the large molecule this factor also explain why protein and large polysaccharides are almost always antigenic Lymphocytes are re uh, responsible for acquired immunity. Acquired immunity is the product of body pla uh, body's lymphocyte. The lymphocytes are located most ex extensively in the lymph node, but they are also found in special lymphoid tissue such as spleen, mucosal area of the gastrointestinal tract, thymus and bone marrow. In most instances, the invading agent first enters the tissue fluid and then is carried by lymph vessel to the lymph node or the lymphoid tissue. B cell, okay, the T cell is responsible for forming activated lymphocytes that provide cell mediated immunity, as we said before, and the B lymphocytes is responsible for the humoral immunity. 
both type of lymphocytes are derived originally in the embryo from the pluripotent hemoprotic stem cells that comes from the common lymphoid progenitor cell as one of their most important offspring of the uh, as they differentiate almost all of the lymphocytes that are formed eventually end up in the lymphoid tissue but being uh, before doing so they are further differentiated or pre-processed in the following way number one lymphoid progenitor cells that are destined to eventually form activated t lymphocyte first will migrate and pre-process in the thymus gland and they are called the t lymphocyte to designate the role of thymus they are responsible for cell mediated immunity other population of lymphocytes are the B lymphocytes that are uh, destined to form the antibodies are pre-processed in the liver during the mid fetal life and in bone marrow in the late fetal life and after birth. Thymus gland pre-processes the lymphocyte. The T lymphocyte after origination in the bone marrow first will migrate to thymus gland. Here they will divide rapidly and at the same time develop extreme diversity of reacting uh, diversity, diversity for reacting against the different specific agent. This is also known as thymic lymphocytes. This process continues until there are thousands of different types of lymph uh, thymic lymphocytes with specific uh, reactivities against many thousands of different antigens. T lymphocytes then leave the thymus and spread by the way of blood throughout the body to lodge in lymphoid tissue everywhere. Thymus also makes certain that any lymphocytes leaving the thymus will not react against protein or other antigen that are present in the body's own tissue. This diagram represents the formation of antibodies and synthesized lymphocytes by a lymph node in response to antigen. The figure shows the origin of thymic T and bursal B lymphocytes that respectively are responsible for cell mediated and humoral immune response. Always remember B lymphocytes are responsible for humoral immunity and T lymphocytes are, lymph are responsible for cell mediated immunity. Most of the pre-processing of T lymphocyte in the thymus occurs shortly after the birth of baby or for few months after the birth. Liver and bone marrow pro, uh, pre processes the lymphocytes. B lymphocytes are pre processed in the liver during the mid fetal life and in the bone marrow during the late fetal life and after birth. B lymphocytes are different from T lymphocytes in two ways. First, instead of whole uh, cell developing the reactivity against the antigen, as occurs for the T lymphocytes, the B lymphocyte. Uh, actively secretes antibodies that are reactive agent. Second, B lymphocytes have greater diversity than T lymphocytes, thus forming many millions type of B lymphocyte antibodies with different type of reactivities. T lymphocytes migrate to the lymphoid tissue throughout the body where they lodge near slightly removed from the T lymphocyte areas. When the specific antigen comes in contact with T and B lymphocyte in the lymphoid tissue, certain, ty uh, certain of the T lymphocytes become activated to form T cells and certain B cells will become activated to form your antibodies. Once the specific lymphocyte is activated by its antigen, it reproduces wildly forming tremendous number of duplicate lymphocytes. In the figure, um, if it is T lymphocyte, its progeny are specific sensitized T cells that are released into the lymph and then carried to the blood cells. Here you can see in the diagram um, uh, an antigen activated only by the only the lymphocyte that have cell surface receptor that are complementary and recognize a specific antigen. So here B cell from the bone marrow will de uh, develop produce different B cells or B clones antibody binding uh, cell to the uh, binding to specific B2 cell here these are the antigen and they are binding to form antibodies proferiation and differentiating uh, differentiation of B2 lymphocyte B2 will 
further differentiate into different cells and then these cells will secrete your antibodies. The whole gene for forming each type of T cell or B cell is never present in the original stem cell from which functional immune cells are formed. Instead, there are only gene segments present. During pre-processing of respective T and B uh, cell lymphocyte, these gene segments become mixed with one another randomly and uh, in with random combination in this way finally forming the whole gene. Because there are several hundred type of gene segments as well as millions of different combinations in which segments can be arranged in the single cell, one can understand millions of different cell gene types that can occur. Mechanism of activating a clone of lymphocyte. T lymphocyte molecules similar to antibodies called surface receptor protein or T cell marker are the are on the surface of T cell membrane and these are also highly specific for one specific activating agent. An antigen therefore stimulates only those cells that have complementary receptor for antigen and are already com committed to the to respond to it. Role of macrophages in activation process. Most invading organisms are first phagocytized and partially digested by macrophages and antigenic products are liberated into the macrophage cytosol. Macrophage then passes these antigens cell to cell uh, by cell to cell contact directly to the lymphocyte thus leading to activation of the specific lymphocytic clones. The macrophage in addition will secrete a specific activating substance which is interleukin 1 that promotes still further growth of reproduction of specific lymphocytes. Role of the T cell in activation of the B cells. Most antigens activate both T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes at the same time. Some of the T cells that are formed are called T helper cells that secrete specific substance collectively called lymphokines that activates the specific B lymphocytes. Then we have the specific attributes of the uh, B lymphocyte system, humoral immunity and the antibodies. The B lymphocytes specific for the antigen in the immediately enlarge and take on the appearance of lymphoblast. Some of the lymphoblasts further differentiate to form plasma blasts which are precursors of the plasma cell. In the plasma blast, the cytoplasm expands to rough endoplasmic reticulum, vastly pro uh, pro uh, proliferate the plasma blast then begin to divide at the rate of about once every 10 hours. Formation of memory cells enhances the antibody response to the subsequent antigen exposure. A few of the lymphoblasts formed by activation of a clone of B lymphocyte do not go on to, the, uh, on to form plasma cell but instead form moderate number of B new, uh, new B lymphocytes similar to those for the original clone. They also circulate throughout the body to populate uh, all lymphoid tissues immunogenically however they remain dominant. These lymphocytes are known as memory cells. In figure 35.3, time course of antibody response in circulating blood to primary injection of antigen and a secondary injection of several weeks later are shown. The difference between the primary response for forming antibody that occur on the first exposure to specific antigen and the secondary response that occur on the second exposure to the same antigen. The second response by contrast begins rapidly after exposure to anti uh, antigen is far more potent and form antibodies for many other many months rather than for only a weeks. Nature of antibodies. Antibodies are gamma globulin called immunoglobulin which are only 20% or only form the 20% part of the plasma protein. All immunoglobulin are composed of combination of light and heavy polypeptide chain. Most are combination of two light and two heavy chain. In this figure, you can see the structure of typical IgG antibody showing it to compose of two heavy polypeptide chain and two light polypeptide chains and the antigen binding 
at two different sites on the variable portion of the chain. So here, these are your heavy chains. These are your light chains. Here you can see the sulfide bond between heavy and light chain. This is the hinge region. This is the antigen and this thing here U-shaped is known as the antigen binding site. The upper part which consists of light chain is known as your variable portion and the heavy chain uh, with, di uh, with disulfide bonds are no, uh, bonds are known as your constant portion. Specificity of antibodies. When the antibody is highly specific, there are so many bonding sites that an antibody-antigen coupling is exceedingly strong held together by one hydrophobic bonding, two hydrogen bonding, ionic attraction and four is van der Waal forces. It obeys the thermodynamic mass action law which says Ka, the affinity constant, is equal to the concentration of bond between antibody and antigen over the concentration of antibody times the concentration of antigen. There are five classes of antibodies IgM, IgG, IgA, IgD and IgG. Ig in this GADE stands for the immunoglobulin and, there, uh, and the other five respective letters designates the respectivities of the classes. Mechanism of action of antibodies. Antibodies act mainly in two ways to protect the body against invading in, uh, agents. Number one, by direct attack on invader or by the activation of complement system. Direct action of antibodies on the invading agents. The multiple agent site on the most invading agents, the antibodies can inactivate the invading agent in one of the several following ways. Number one is agglutination in which multiple large particles with antigen on their surface such as bacteria or red blood cells are bond together into a clump. Then we have precipitation in which molecular complex of soluble antigen and antibody become so large that is it is rendered insoluble and it precipitates. Then we have neutralization in which antibodies cover the toxic sites of antigen specific antigenic agent and then number four is lysis in which common uh, some potent antibodies are occasionally capable of directly attacking membranes of cellular agents and thereby cause rupture of the a uh, rupture of the agent this here shows the cascade of reaction during activation of classic pathway of complement Complement system for antibody action. The principal factors in this system are 11 protein designated as C1 through C9, B and D. The enzyme precursors are normally inactive but they can be activated by so called classical pathway. Classical pathway is initiated by antigen antibody reaction. That is when an antibody binds with an antigen a specific reactive site on the constant portion of antibody become uncovered or activated which in turn bind directly to the c1 molecule of the complement system setting into the motion of cascade sequential reaction c1 enzymes in la uh, later stages of system so that form a small beginning and extremely large amplified reaction will occur among the more important effects are opsonization and phagocytosis one of the uh, one of the products of the complement cascade um, c3b strongly activate the phagocytosis by both neutrophil and macrophages lysis is one of the most important of all the products of complement cascade um, is the lytic complex which is the combination of multiple complement factors that is designated as C5B6789. Agglutination um, uh, change the surface of invading organisms causing them to adhere to one another thus promoting agglutination. Neutralization of viruses um, complement product can attack the structure of some viruses and thereby render them non-virulent. 
Chemotaxis fragment C5A initiate chemotaxis of neutrophil and macrophages and cause large number of these phagocytes to migrate into the tissue area adjacent to the antigenic agent. Then we have activation of mast cells and vasopil. Fragments such as C3A, C4A and C5A activate mast cells and vasopil causing them to release histamine, heparin and several other substances into the local fluids. Inflammatory effects. In addition to inflammatory effects caused by activation of most mast cells and basophil, several other complement products contribute to the local inflammation. Number one is already increased blood flow to increase uh, blood flow to increase still further, capillary leakage of protein to increase and interstitial fluid protein to coagulate into the tissue spaces. Special attribute of the T lymphocyte system activated T, lymph, uh, T cells and cell mediated immunity. Release of activated T cell from lymphoid tissue and formation of memory cell. Upon uh, uh, exposure to the proper antigen, T lymphocyte of the specific lymphocyte clone proliferate and release large number of activated specific reacting T cell in a way that are parallel uh, in ways that parallel antibody release of by the activated B cells. T lymphocyte memory cells are formed in same way that the B memory cells are formed in the antibody system. T lymphocyte of the specific um, clone in fact these memory cells can spread throughout the lymphoid tissues of the entire body. Antigen presenting cell MHC protein antigen receptor on the T cells. Acquired immune response usually require assistance from T cell to begin the process and T cell play a major role in helping to eliminate invading pathogens. Although B cell uh, B lymphocyte recognize intact antigen T lymphocyte respond to antigen only when they are bound to specific protein called MHC protein on the surface of antigen presenting cell in the lymphoid tissue. Three major types of antigen presenting cells are macrophages, B lymphocytes and dendritic cells. Dendritic cells are the most potent antigenic presenting cells and are located throughout the body and their own un uh, only known function is, uh, is to present ad antigen to the T cell. MHC protein are encoded by large group of gene called major histocompatibility complex which is your MHC protein. There are two types of MHC protein. MHC1 which present antigen to cytotoxic T cell and MHC2 protein which present antigen to the T helper cell. Several types of T cell and their different function. It has become clear that there are multiple types of T cells. They are classified into three major groups, helper cell, cytotoxic cell, and suppressor cells. The function of each of these cells are distinct. T helper cells are the most numerous of the T cells. They do this by, um, they form the protein mediator called lymphokines that act on other cells of the immune system as well as on the bone marrow cell. These are known as interleukin 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, granulocyte, monocyte, colony stimulating factor and interferon gamma. Specific regulatory uh, function of lymphokine. The absence of lymphokine from T helper cell. The remainder of the immune system is also almost paralyzed. In fact, it is the T helper cell that are in inactivated or destroy the humo uh, human immunodeficiency virus which is your HIV. Stimulation of growth and pro proliferation of cytotoxic T cell and suppressor T cell. In the absence of T helper cell, clone for producing cytotoxic T cell and the suppressor T cell are activated only slightly by most antigen. The lymphokine interleukin 2 has a spe specially strong stimulatory effect in causing the growth and proliferation of the cytotoxic and suppressor T cell. The interleukin participate in the B cell response, but especially interleukin 4, 5, 6. In fact, these three interleukins have such potent effect on the B cell that they have been called B cell stimulating factor or B cell 
uh, B cell growth factors. Activation of macrophage system. Lymphocyne also affect the macrophages. First, they slow or stop the migration of macrophages after they have been chemotactically attracted into the inflamed tissue area, thus causing great accumulation of macrophages. Then they activate the macrophages to cause far more efficient phagocytosis, allowing them to attack and destroy the bacteria. Some of the lymphokines, especially interleukin-2, have the positive feedback effect in the stimulating activation. Cytotoxic T cell is direct attack cell that is capable of killing mac uh, microorganisms at times, even some of the body's own cell. This is the reason they are known as the killer cells. Binding the cytotoxic T cell secrete hole forming protein called perforin, they literally punch round hole in membranes of attacked cell. Then fluid flow rapidly into the cell from the inter interstitial space. In addition, the cytotoxic T cell will release the cytotoxic substance directly into the attack cells and immediately attack cells become greatly swollen. Cytotoxic killer cells can pull away from the victim cell after they have been punched whole and deliver cytotoxic substance and then can move out, move on to kill another cell. The cytotoxic cell also plays an important role in destroying the cancer cell, heart transplant cells and the type of cells that are foreign to person's own body. Then we have suppressor T cells. They are capable of uh, suppressing the function of both cytotoxic and T helper cells. These uh, suppressor functions are believed to prevent the cytotoxic cells from causing excessive immune reaction that might be damaging to body's own tissue. Probab it is probable that the suppressor T cell um, system plays an important role in limiting the ability of immune system to attack a person's own tissue. This uh, phenomena is known as your immune tolerance. The tolerance of acquired immune syst immunity system to one own tissue, role of pre-processing in thymus and the bone marrow. The process of acquired immunity will destroy the individual's own body if a person becomes immune to his or her own tissue. This mechanism normally, uh, rec uh, the immune mechanism normally recognizes a person's own tissue as being distinct from bacteria and viruses. Most tolerance is believed to develop during pre-processing of T lymphocyte in the thymus and the B lymphocyte in the bone marrow. The reason for this belief is that injecting a person antigen into a fetus while lymphocytes are being pre-processed in those two areas prevent development of clone of lymphocyte in the lymphoid tissue that are specific for injected antigen. Failure of tolerance mechanism cause autoimmune disease. Several specific diseases that result from autoimmunity includes rheumatoid fever in which body becomes uh, immunized against tissue in the joints and heart, specific, uh, especially the heart walls after the exposure to a specific type of streptococcal toxin that has been epitope in its molecular structures similar to the structure of the some body's own self antigen. Another type of autoimmune um, disease is glomerulonephritis in which person become immunized against the basement membranes of glomeruli. Mesenthesia gravis immunity develops against the acetylcholine receptor protein of the neuromuscular junction causing paralysis. Systematic lupus erythromatosis SLE in which person become immunized against many different body tissue at the same time a disease that cause extensive damage and even death. Immunization by injection of antigens. Immunity can be achieved against toxins that have been treated with chemicals so that their toxic nature has been destroyed even though their antigen for causing the immunity are still intact. A person can be immunized by being infected with li uh, live, live organisms that have been attenuated. That is, these organisms either have been grown in special culture media or have been passed through a series of animals until 
they have been mutated enough that they will not cause disease but do still carry specific antigen required for the immunization this procedure is used to protect smallpox yellow fever poliomyelitis measles and the other viral diseases passive immunity <coughs> is your temporary immunity can be achieved in a person without injecting any antigen this temporary immunity is achieved by infusing antibodies activated by t-cell or both obtained from the blood of someone else or some other animals that have been actively immunized against the antigen such transfusions of antibodies or t lymphocytes to confer, uh, confer immunity is called the passive immunity now we're going to discuss the allergy and hypersensitivity allergy caused by activated T cells delayed reaction is known as the delayed reaction allergy. Delayed reaction allergy, as we said, is caused by T cell and not by antibodies. Upon reacted, upon repeated exposure, it does cause the formation of activated T uh, helper and cytotoxic T cells. The activated T cells diffuse through the circulating blood in large number into the skin to respond to the positive po uh, poison IV toxin. This type of immunity can cause release of many toxic substances from the activated T cell as well as the extensive invasion of the tissue by macrophages along with along with their subsequent effect. Example of this is lung edema, asthmatic attack in some cases of the airborne antigens. Atopic allergies associated with excess IgE antibodies. Some people have an allergic tendency. These allergies are called the atopic allergies because they are caused by non-ordinary response of immune system. Allergic tendency is genetically passed from parent to child and characterized by the presence of large co uh, quantities of IgE antibodies in the blood. These antibodies are called reagent or sensitizing antibodies to distinguish them from the more common IgG antibody. A special characteristics of IgE antibodies is strongly propensity to attach to the mast cell and basophil. At any rate, many of the mast cell and basophil ruptures, others release special agents immediately or shortly thereafter, which includes histamine, protease, slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis, which is the mixture of toxic leukotrienes, uh, eosinophil chemotactic substances, neutrophil chemotactic substances, heparin, platelet and platelet activating factor. These substances will cause effects such as dilation of local blood vessels, attraction of eosinophil and neutrophils to reactive site, increased permeability of the capillaries with loss of fluid into the tissue. Among the different types of allergic reaction caused in the manners, um, some are anaphylaxia, anaphylaxis, when a specific allergen is injected directly into the circulation, the allergen can react with basophil of the blood and mast cell in the tissue located immediately outside the small blood vessels. If the basophil and mast cells have been sensitized by uh, attachment of IgE region. Then we have Uriticaria. This results from antigen entering specific skin area and causing localized uh, anaphylactoid reaction. Histamine release locally causes vasodilation that induce immediate red flare and increase local permeability of the capillaries that lead to local circumcised area of swelling of the skin within, an, uh, within another few minutes. Example of this is hives. Hay fever. In hay fever, the allergic reaction, um, allergen re reagent reaction occurs in the nose. Histamine released in the response to reaction causes local intranasal vascular dilation, within resultant increased capillary pressure and increased capillary permeability. Then we have asthma. Asthma often occurs in the allergic type of person. In such a in such person, allergen reagent reaction occur in bronchioles of your lungs. 
Important product released from the mast cell is believed to be slow reacting substance of anaphylaxis, which is a mixture of three leukotriene, which cause spasm of bronchiolar smooth muscles. What will happen is the person will have difficulty breathing until the reactive product of allergic reaction has been removed. This brings us to the end of blood cells immunity and blood coagulation chapter. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, do subscribe. Thank you.